tensions remain high as the NYPD and Mayor de Blasio came together today to welcome the next generation of officers. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez has the story. Congratulations. Resonating pride inside Madison Square Garden as the NYPD welcomes its newest members to the police force. I'm happy because of the prestige of the NYPD and I just want to go out there and do my best to help support the city and look after the people of New York. It definitely is a troubling time right now for us, but we're very excited to get out there and, like I said, make a difference. But the continuing tension between New York's finest and Mayor de Blasio could not be ignored. His introduction was followed by booze and heckles. The Honorable Bill de Blasio. Thank you. A small number of people turned their backs on the mayor as he addressed the crowd. One heckler blamed de Blasio for the divide. You'll confront all the problems that plague our society, problems that you didn't create. You'll, cre you'll confront poverty. You'll confront mental illness. Former Mayor Rudy Giuliani is urging de Blasio to take responsibility for the volatile climate in the city. Mayor de Blasio, please say you're sorry to them for the impression that he created for many, many months that the police department is somehow a racist police department. In this arena, there were no apologies, only a temporary truce. The crowd was mostly reverent, perhaps to respect the graduates' accomplishments and the memory of fallen officers Wen Zhen Lu and Rafael Ramos, honored with a salute toward the heavens. Eyes up! Present! Hold! Police Commissioner Bill Bratton left his new officers with a message of support and solidarity. We will, this leadership team, this mayor, we will do everything in our power to equip you, to train you, to support you, to be with you. Because that's where I want to be. I want to be with the cops, because I am a cop. And believe me, there's no job in the world quite like it. These 884 men and women are now ready for the challenge. In Midtown, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Well, new at 5, New York Senate leaders plan to take a closer look at the safety of police officers. Starting next month, Senate committees will hold a series of public hearings to examine police safety and public protection. The hearings will review officers' training, community policing, and the grand jury process. Funeral arrangements are finalized now for slain NYPD officer Wen Jin Liu. His wake will be on Saturday at the Iavoli Funeral Home in Brooklyn from 1 o'clock to 9. The funeral will also be there the following morning on Sunday. That is at 10 a.m. And CBS2 is partnering with the Stephen Siller Tunnel to Towers Foundation to raise money to help the family of officers Lou and Ramos. The organization says donations are pouring in from around the world. To contribute, go to tunneltotowers.org or you can call toll-free 844-BRAVEST.